So guys, after weeks and weeks of waiting for some sort of official announcement, we have something at last, and no, it's not the April event a lot of us were anticipating. It's actually about WWDC, because yes, it's going to be online once again, and it should be taking place on the 7th of June. And so let's delve into what we can expect from the hardware and software releases to the easter eggs we can see on the official site. And so without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. So let's dig into the site. And the first thing you notice is the tagline of the event, which is glow and behold. And honestly, I have no clue what hidden meanings could be behind that. So let's dismiss that and delve into the images instead because a lot of people online have been mentioning that because all these Memojis are wearing glasses and the fact you can see apps in the glasses themselves, this could be referring to the release of the AR glasses we've been hearing about at WWDC this year. Now guys, I can't lie. I don't buy this at all because there's something called reflections people, you might not know this but if you're looking at something with glasses it's going to reflect what's on the screen in your glasses, that's how physics works and so clearly in these images these Memojis are looking at a Mac that clearly has its display turned on and so the app icons in the glasses are reflections, they're nothing more, this is just being overblown and so yes I don't think there's any references to Apple glasses in these images. Actually, I just realized it seems like Apple is embracing the Craig meme because you can see the pose in these Memoji images is very similar to what Craig did at the M1 event. However, I will admit that maybe the app icons could be referring to some software features we could see at the event. For example, the badge on the calendar app shows the number 12, which of course we already know will be macOS 12, which by the way has been confirmed in some code. So yes, instead of having macOS 11.1 .1, like we've seen in the past, it seems like Apple is simplifying the whole macOS naming scheme and much like iOS and iPadOS, we should see macOS go up by one every year from now on. Anyways, another app icon that caught my eye is Xcode, which of course has been rumored to come to the iPad, and so that could be referring to Xcode and Pro Apps in general coming over to iPad OS 15. And finally, the Mac itself. That could be referring to a new MacBook Pro that could launch in WWDC, which of course has been suggested in the past since Mark Gurman has said we can expect these new MacBook Pros around mid-year. Now let's touch on the software releases we can see at WWDC and it's pretty much what we see every year and that is iOS 15, watchOS 8, tvOS 15 and macOS 12. I believe that's everything, but either way, we have little to no leaks about any of Apple's software this year, and so really, we're going into this with no expectations, which I guess is a refreshing thing, since everything gets leaked weeks in advance, and for once, we might be genuinely surprised at what we see. Now, I do have some personal wishes. I do want to see better implementations of widgets on iOS and iPad OS 15 and of course on the iPad side I would absolutely love to see Final Cut and other pro apps finally come to the iPad. Now in terms of tvOS, macOS and watchOS I have no suggestions and so let me know in the comments below what would you like to see Apple improve with their software this year. Now let's get into the juicy part, that is the hardware, because I think we can expect a flurry of Macs at this event, and obviously it should be headlined by the new MacBook Pros. So obviously, like I said, some leaks have suggested a mid-year release, and so releasing it at WWDC would make a lot of sense, and we have seen Apple release a lot of big MacBook releases 
at Dub Dub, and so it just makes sense. They give us the big redesign at the event that's aimed at prosumers and enthusiasts who of course are going to be the main target audience for this new MacBook Pro. Now yes, I know some recent evidence has suggested that maybe the MacBook Pros won't go into mass production till the second half of the year. And so, of course, that means we can't see these Macs at Dub Dub. But of course, I want to say that there is a chance that Apple could reveal these Macs at the event and then release them to the public at a later date. So, for example, we could see these being announced in June and then we see the products being available to buy in September slash October. Now the next big release in terms of Macs is undoubtedly the new iMacs and of course I have discussed in previous videos we have seen a lot of evidence regarding the new iMacs within Apple's own code and software and so it has led me to believe that we could see these iMacs as soon as next month but we didn't get any invites for the April event today, even though I was expecting to see something. And so that makes me think we'll see the IMAX at Dub Dub alongside the new MacBook Pros instead. And the final hardware release that we could see at Dub Dub is, of course, the iPad Pro, because we have been waiting for this to release forever now. And with the April event and the likelihood of that slowly fading away, it could be plausible that maybe Apple pushes back the release of the iPad Pro to, of course, WWDC. This would be pretty disappointing news, and so I do want to say that it doesn't really make sense to release an iPad at WWDC since it's not as prosumer focused as the Max. And so there is a possibility we see the iPad Pros being released via press release next month instead. And so yes, that's pretty much everything we can expect at Dub Dub. It's going to be an amazing event. We're going to have as much time with the beautiful Hair Force One. So yeah, I'm 100% looking forward to this. And by the way, if you're wondering, there are exactly 69 days left till WWDC. And that makes you wonder, did Apple announce the event today just so there are 69 days left? Because that would be pretty funny. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. For the latest Apple news and rumors, check out the video in the icon above about a leak regarding the Magic Keyboard 2 for the new iPad Pro. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.